Welcome to the new media peeps. What's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the MMA expert. You all know it. And the four-time national champion powerlifter, the bronze medalist at the world championships, and of course, the national class wrestler and judo guy and everything else. And you know that I'm the MMA expert and I've interviewed Batista and Cesar Gracie and all the others. And I brought you all the predictions that are almost always true. Here's the thing. UFC 125, Frankie, the answer, Edgar, who was wearing an interesting shirt, the F-E at the weigh-in. We'll talk about that. That's a symbol for iron. We'll deal with that next video at the weigh-in. Versus Gray the Bully Maynard. 155, UFC World Lightweight Championship of the World. What do I think is going to happen in this fight? I think that a lot of rematches often replay the first fight. That's most often what happens. I don't think that there's going to be anywhere to go here for Frankie Ed Edgar. Frankie's great. He's a great wrestler. He's got a great motor. He's fast. He he's got different moves. Very resilient. Elusive. The whole nine yards. But Gray Maynard is bigger, stronger. He's got all the... Here's the thing. For the, so, you know, it, it's all about... You know, styles make fights. And when... Frank Edgar deals with Gray Maynard, it's almost like seeing, you know, someone that's very similar to him, except for someone that's bigger, stronger, and meaner, okay? And, and so I think that, that Gray Maynard is going to bully Frankie Edgar. I don't think Frankie Edgar, you know, can really hurt him. I don't think he can outwork him. I don't think he's going to be able to escape him. I think that unlike B.J. Penn, and I love B.J. Penn, but B.J. Penn always has sort of a somewhat questionable gas tank. B.J. Penn's getting a little up there because he's had so many years in the ring, and the cage, rather, and I think with with you know BG, even though he has fantastic uh, jujitsu, his wrestling isn't of the level that a Frankie Edgar is, and he doesn't always want to go to the ground. He thought he was going to sell. He really believed that he was going to stand there and strike with them and knock him out. Whereas I think Gray Maynard doesn't care where the fight's at. He won't take it down. He'll stay on the feet. Whatever. It's all good. So I think you know five rounds uh, with with Gray Maynard is going to be too five rounds too much for Frankie Edgar. Do I think? How I think it's going, to, this is going to, that it's going to all end up at the end of the day. A five-round decision doesn't, won't surprise me, of course. Um, and I think that, you know, that Frankie, uh, so that Gray Maynard is going to have to step it up. I think Gray Maynard is upset that Frankie Edgar, that, I mean, Gray Maynard is undefeated. And the guy that he beat has a title. He doesn't like that. So he's upset about that. I think that, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't even see the championship rounds. I really wouldn't be surprised. I don't know that, you know... Uh, Maynard's going to knock him out, but it could happen, and I think that, you know, that we could see, a, you know, the uh, a submission, all kinds of stuff like that, so I think it's 50-50, 50% 50, 50, 50 say it ends within three rounds, 50% says we're going five round decision, and I do think that Gray Maynard leaves as the new lightweight champion of the world UFC title belt around his waist. What do you think? You tell me what's up. Comments below, subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal and you're watching Conservative New Media.